Welcome to ICSE Class 10 Maths Tutorial. The topic is Trigonometry. And we are solving ICSE Semester 2 Examination 2022 Specimen Question Paper Mathematics. Before we start, I have to say that two lines are not going to be able to do it. When you say that, 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 जमाने पर भरोसा करने वालों जमाने का भरोसा जा रहा है जमाने का भरोसा जा रहा है थैंक यू टुडेस टॉपिक इज हाइट्स एंड डिस्टेंसेस कंटिन्यूड एंड द क्वेश्चन इज एन एरोप्लेन इज फ्लाइंग हॉरिजॉन्टली along a straight line at a height of 3000 meters from the ground at a speed of 160 meters per second find the time it would take for the angle of elevation of the plane as seen from a particular point on the ground to change from 60 degree to 45 degree give your answer correct to the nearest Second, this is the question, and uh, this is the diagram. As you can see, the plane is here at the point E, and from this point E, we see the plane. The angle of elevation at this point is 60 degree you can see this in blue 60 degree angle a e b this is 60 degree all right now this when you see from e and the uh, plane is uh, aeroplane is at the point a then the angle of elevation is 60 degree now the angle of elevation becomes 45 degree when the aeroplane is here at the point D. When the plane is, when the aeroplane is at the point D, the angle of elevation is 45 degree. So it's changing from 60 to 60 degree to 45 degree. All right. And the speed with which it is flying is 160 meters per second. So we have to find out the time taken. The time taken to travel from A to D. All right. Time taken. Speed is given. If we can find out the distance travelled, I mean the distance from A to D, which uh, uh, I am taking as small d, BC is equal to AD, this small d, this is small d, this is also small d. So if we can find out small d, that means we know the distance. Alright, and there is a formula. Uh, speed is equal to distance upon time using that formula speed is equal to distance upon time we can find out time because now we know distance first of all first of all we have to find out this AD means BC and that we are supposing as D all right you can write down let BC is equal to D meters let eb or b is equal to x meters all right and this height is the height of the um, aeroplane from the ground is 3000 this is 3000 it's not 300 this is 3000 meters 3000 meters all right this is 3000 meters so if this is 3000, this is also 3000. No? AB 
is 3000 this is also 3000 fine now in triangle you write on full in right angle triangle triangle eba triangle eba in this triangle tan theta is equal to ab upon b first you write down tan 60 degree is equal to one more step you write down please write down right tan 60 degree tan 60 degree is equal to perpendicular upon base that is ab upon eb or b and after they write down therefore tan 60 is equal to ab is 3000 so 3000 upon and this we have we have supposed x so 3000 upon x tan 60 is root 3 3000 as it is x as it is therefore x is equal to this root 3 will come down so x is equal to 3000 divided by root 3 and in the next step you multiply by root 3 not here one, one step you write down and then in the next step you write down therefore x is equal to 3000 upon root 3 multiplied by root 3 upon root 3. Now when you multiply root 3 into root, root 3 that gives you 3. 3000 as it is root 3 as it is. See root 3 into root 3 becomes 3 and this root 3 remains there. Now when you divide 3 1 by 3 so you get 1000 root 3. This is x 1000 root 3. Fine you can call this equation number 1. You can call this equation number 1. Fine. Okay, after that, what we do? After this, we, we talk about the uh, other right angle triangle. Now, in right angle triangle, you write full. In right angle triangle triangle ECD. ECD, the bigger one. Again tan 45, tan theta is equal to perpendicular upon base. So tan 45 is equal to, first you write down, one step you write down please, please write down. Tan 65 is equal to CD upon EC. Alright, and then write down in place of CD 3000, in place of EC write down X plus D. So one more step you have to write down, fine. Okay. And then you write down this, tan 45 is equal to 3000 upon X plus D. Now 1045 is 1, so 1 is equal to 3000 upon x plus t. Now when we cross multiply, we get, when we cross multiply, we get, what do we get? Let us see. When we cross multiply, we get x plus d is equal to, we get x plus d is equal to 3000. Alright, this you can call uh, equation number 2. This you can call equation number 2. Alright, and this is equation number 1. This is x. Alright, this is x. x is equal to this much. Fine. Now, from equation number 1, x is equal to... 1000 root 3 you can substitute here or you can say that this minus this anyway it is up to you this minus this so when you subtract 2 minus 1 so write down here 2 minus 1 gives you can write down like this also equation 2 minus equation 1 gives this gives you how much When you subtract xx cancel and you get d is equal to this minus this. So you get d is equal to d is equal to how much? 3000 3000 minus 1000 root 3. Fine. I hope it's clear. Now let me rub this. Okay, so after this, what can we do? We can take 1000 common, it is up to you. This is how I am doing. I am taking 1000 common. Then we get here 3. And here we get root 3. 
that fine. 1000 common, so here we are getting 3 and this root 3. Now the value of root 3 we know 1.732, so we can write down this is equal to 1000 as it is, 3 as it is, minus root 3 is 1.732. Alright, now when you subtract, you get 3 minus 1.732, when you subtract you get uh, 1.268, so 1000 as it is, and when you subtract you get multiplied by uh, 1.268, 1.268. Three minus this, you get this much. Fine. Now when you multiply, you get one two six eight. So this is equal to this is equal to one two six eight meters. All right. You got D, and you know V. So using the formula, speed is equal to distance upon time. The usual formula, all right? A well-known formula: speed is equal to Distance upon time, you know, the speed is equal to distance upon time. So from here you can write down time is equal to distance upon speed. So therefore, therefore we can, can I wrap this now? This much I am wrapping. And then we get Time is equal to distance upon speed. All right, we want time, no? So time is equal to. Ah, like this also, you can substitute. You can write on v is how much? One sixty. One sixty is equal to distance how much? One two six eight upon time. Now you can make t as the subject of the formula. Therefore, t is equal to. Therefore, t is equal to how much? One, two, six, eight. Hold the divided by one, six, zero. All right. One, two, six, eight. Hold divided by one, six, zero. Now, when you subtract this one, two, six, eight, and one uh, by one, six, zero. Uh, sorry, <laughs> not subtract. When you divide. When you divide 1,268 by 160, you get how much? You get 7.925. You get 7.925. All right. Which we can write down because your question says that. I, I'll read the question once again. I read the question once again. The question says, uh, "Give you find the time it would take for the angle of elevation of the plane as seen from a particular point on the ground to change from 60 degree to 45 degree, and give your answer correct to nearest second. This is important. Give your answer correct to nearest second." So nearest second, 7.9, which we can write down 8 seconds. Alright. So your answer is 8 seconds. This is the answer, right? Eh? Correct to, uh, give your answer correct to the nearest second. So to the nearest second you can write down. To the nearest second. To the, you can write down to the, nearest second, all right? You write down full, to the nearest second. Full write down, to the nearest second. And this is your answer. This is your answer. Okay. Uh, there's another uh, method also shortcut. Uh, which uh, I have uh, 
discussed in my previous uh, video on the same topic heights and distances. Uh, if you remember, uh, D is equal to H uh, cot alpha minus cot beta. So if you call this, if you uh, turn this figure like this, so this this D, so this is also D, so D is equal to D is equal to and this will be H. Alright. So D is equal to H and this we take as alpha, this we take as beta. So cot alpha minus cot beta directly you can get the answer. Uh, directly means uh, there are steps, but at least one or two steps uh, uh, shorter, shorter than this. But I think this is also okay, fine. You are showing all these steps. So I hope everything is very, very clear. Okay then. Thank you so much. Thanks.